Hey guys, and welcome to something I I'm not going to do very often, alright? Don't worry, this isn't going to be a very frequent thing. I'm 250 episodes into One Piece at the moment, so I thought, what better way than showing my understanding of the series and probably get the most hate I've ever gotten on a video? But sure enough, we have every single arc down here, from Alabaster all the way up to Skypea. I don't, I don't think they're in the, the right order, because some of these I do not recognize. But being 250 episodes in, I thought it would be only smart to start at the very first arc, being the Romance Dawn arc. It's only seven episodes long, so it's not really much, but it gives you a good understanding. Now let's see what the wiki says. What actually happens in this arc? So we have the origin. Pretty big deal. Okay, yeah, okay. We get to meet... Okay. Shanks. Uh-huh. Uh, we get... Oh, that's right. We get her. Get him saving Zoro. Oh, well, there's actually a few cool things that happen in this starting part. Some pretty big things, I should say. Stuff that's quite important to the story. But as a One Piece arc, it's really short. So I'm gonna give it a B plus. Just for the fact that it's really short and it's like only seven episodes. But it gives you a good, like, understanding of what, everything you need to know within that seven episodes. So I think it's a good little arc. After that, we have the Orange Town arc, which is where we meet Buggy the clown. Is it Buggy or Bu- Yeah, Buggy the clown. Okay, cool. Oh, that's right. There's the giant dog dude on oh, the freaking crew. Oh, okay. It, 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 it. Mm, kind of shit. All right, kind of shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, only being 250 something episodes in, I'm not a big fan of Buggy at the moment, but I think he makes a lot of reappearances in the future. So, pff, fuck it. I'm going to put Orange Town probably in... No, oh, I'm gonna go C plus. I'm sorry if you like that arc. I don't that much. All right, come on. Oh, time to refuel. Ah, it's not prime, by the way. I feel that was something else. I don't even know what I put in that. Oh my god, that tastes amazing. Then we have the Syrup Village arc. This is. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of controversy for this arc. This one, I know you guys are gonna really crack it at me for. <laughs> in this arc, we get to meet. The man, oh, the man in the treasure chest is in this arc? Yo, wait, what? We get to meet Usab and all of that stuff happens. And at first, I really didn't like Usab, but I do really like the story of, uh, I've already forgotten her. Kaya, Kaya? Yeah, there we go. It says it there, Kaya, cool. <laughs> so Syrup Village for me, honestly, it gives you a good understanding of every character, how they kind of work. And then by the end, you know, that Usab joins the team. I'm gonna probably give this another B plus arc. All right, I might be ranking these really harshly right now, but don't worry, boys, don't worry. All right, I'm keeping it a little low, and we're going to build it up to the higher ones. What am I doing with my hand? What's this? What is this? What am I doing? All right, cool. Let's get back to the next one. Oh, this arc. Okay. Um, Why don't I really remember? Oh, no, this is... Okay, Nasuka, nah, never mind. I loved this arc. Yo, Sanji's the GOAT, bro. Zoro versus the greatest swordsman. Goat moment, bro. This is a great one. Oh, this is a really good arc. I really like this one. I really liked Sanji's story. I really like the backstory. And Sanji's just one of the goaded characters. So instantly because of that, this one's jumping probably up to a... Uh, oh, I want to give it an A+, plus, but I feel like that's overrating it. So I'm going to give it an A. All right, I'm giving it an A. No, I'm giving it an A+. Plus. It deserves it. Come on, boys. Sanji's the goat, bro. He's the goat. Oh, then we have Arlong Park. Okay, this is one of the... Isn't this one of the first longer... No, it's only 14 episodes. What am I talking about? But we do get Nami's backstory and we get a whole bunch of twists and turns. A lot of really, really good fights. Oh, I don't know, man. It's a good one. It's a good one. I just didn't like Nami during this. After the arc, she's great. Like, I feel like that's because of an understanding of her character. And I really feel like that's because of the arc. So I'm going to give the arc a a plus tier as well. I do really like that arc. Not as much as Sanji, so Sanji's still going to be in front of it, but it's still a good arc. It's still a good arc, all right? I'm saying arc so many times right now. What is this? Feeling like Vin Diesel with how much arc I'm talking about. That's an in-depth joke right there. If anyone got it, comment down below. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Lug Town. We get the... Oh, that smoker and shit, isn't it? Yeah, we get Luffy's first bounty. We get to see Buggy the Clown again. Oh, yeah, this was an all right one. This is an all right little one. I liked Smoker. Smoker was actually a bit of a threat during this one. I say bit of a threat, but honestly, Lugtown, kind of average. I Honestly, the more I think about it, I don't really remember much of Lugtown, so I might put that as a B tier. Damn, this is looking really sparse right now. This is, oh, this is bad, boys. It's all right, we're coming up with some of my favorite. We're coming up with some of my favorite now, all right? So, Reverse Mountain, isn't this literally just, to, it's two episodes. How is this an arc? 
Okay, well, reverse mountains, what gets them in the grand line? Pretty cool, I guess. So I'll put it in B tier. <laughs> it's sick. Ooh, then we get the Whiskey Peak arc. Another decent little arc right here. And we get to meet Miss Wednesday, which is definitely a really good build up for character. We get to see other devil fruits, lots of good action, some good fights. Honestly, good little setup arc, but I feel like this arc because it's another short one, is only really good because of the arc it's setting up later on. So I'm probably going to put Whiskey Peak in front of Reverse Mountain, but actually, you know, oh, hold on, actually, nah, yeah, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in B plus tier because of what it sets up. Itself is a good arc, but it is more important. It becomes a good arc because of the later arcs, you know? I think, ah, uh, that's what I think at least. <laughs> oh, Little Garden. This one... Honestly, is it just me or did Little Garden kind of feel a little bit like filler? I know it wasn't, like, the giants are cool, but I don't know, what actually happened? Maybe I'm forgetting something. We yeah, have the giants, yeah. Oh, yeah, and okay, this is including all the fight. Ah, oh, for some reason I had all of this stuff within last arc. Ah, okay, so this is kind of a mixture. If that's the case, I'm probably gonna, if that's the case, I'm probably gonna put Little Garden on the same spot. But as Whiskey Peak, it, so these ones could swap spots at either point, so B+, plus probably. Then we get the Drum Island arc. This might be controversial, but I love Chopper, bro. Chopper's so cool. He's definitely one of my favorite guys. He's so cute, bro. How can you, like, not love him? He's adorable and awesome in every way, bro. He's coming in clutch all the time. And he's the doctor, bro. He's dope. So Drum Island, yeah, that's another A+, plus tier for me. And I'm probably going to put it... Just because I do, I do like Chopper. Chopper's really good in it. It's his introduction. I'm putting it in B. I'm putting it in A+. I don't give a crap, boys. If you want to yell at me, do it. I don't give a crap. Chopper's goaded, bro. Ah, uh, <laughs> our first big arc, you know. Why don't we big arc, you know. This is uh, a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. Arabasta. Is it Arabasta? I thought it was Alabasta, but uh, okay. The man with many faces. We get to see Ace. Lots of setup, lots of travel. We then have Crocodile. Then they have that big fight where Luffy's defeated. Holy crap. Yeah, there were a lot of twists and turns in this one. I kind of like that. Oh, then Zoro cut. Yeah, okay. This is a go by this. <laughs> All right, hold on. Alabaster, I'm going to say, yeah, it's going to probably be the first S plus tier because the more you think about that arc, mm, so much good stuff. So much good stuff. And it's so early on in the series. I say so early on, but you have to go through all these arcs to get to it. But still, it's one of the first big arcs with the whole actual early straw hat crew, you know? Oh, then we got Jaya. Jaya? Jaya? Yeah, the Jaya arc. <laughs> Jaya, yeah, let's go with Jaya. This one, I was actually kind of hyped for. Like, when we saw this, and then you saw, like, just the this reunion, which I'm not going to really talk about, you know? <laughs> yeah, but we saw him. Oh, there's some dope stuff in this arc, honestly. This arc has a lot of setup in it. Like... It was more just like, hey, you see this lock? Yeah, this is going to be important in a couple hundred episodes. So, you know, I feel like because of the hype it's building, the Jaya arc is cool, but I'm just going to put it in A tier because it doesn't really topple these arcs up here. And you kind of have the understanding of every character that's referenced in these earlier arcs, but it doesn't really stand on its own too much. Like, it just feeds you lore, which is dope. I do like lore feeds, but I want that lore in the arc as well, you know, which is where, oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh, I'm gonna get cancelled for this one. I'm gonna get so cancelled for this one. The Sky Pier arc. One of my most hated arcs at the freaking start. But boy, by the end of it, this arc became one of my favorites. It felt so slow. This stupid ordeals and crap. I was like, oh my God, please, this is boring and then i was kind of getting into it a little bit and then they started explaining some more stuff the going mary the weird ghost character fixing it the freaking giant fights oh my god chopper coming in clutch the snake luffy why did you go in the snake you idiot yeah pretty much uh there was a lot of stuff that did happen in this and oh my god the god it says enel but i don't know how to say his actual name i've already forgotten it what was it for some reason i thought it was eneru but it's not i think that's from demon slayer <laughs> But man, I thought this dude was seriously invincible until Luffy showed up and I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think, I'm not going to say how he spoils it unless you're reading it yourself and you already know. But damn man, I didn't even think of how Luffy could beat him. Oh my god, it was so cool. It got me jumping out of my bed in excitement. So, I'm definitely going to say Skypea and S plus tier. It was just great. It was great. These two could swap at any time. Honestly, anything that goes in S plus, it's just goaded. It's just goaded. Oh.
And then we get the long ring, long land arc. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this arc, as much as I appreciate some of the moments in it, I absolutely hated the Davy back fights. Like, it was just a waste of time. Like, bro, at the moment, like, I don't know if it has any matter. Oh, okay, wait, 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 no, we get to, we did the, have the encounter with the Admiral, that was cool, I didn't know that counted for this arc, that's a good moment, I did like that to counter, so that boosted the arc a little bit, but, bro, the fight with the freaking Foxy crew, or the Foxes, Foxy's crew, oh my god. Damn, bro, I was so tempted to skip it. It was so boring. Because of that, I'm, I'm gonna put it, it's it's being saved by the Admiral. I'm gonna put it in C plus with Orange Town. Honestly, that, oh, it's a hard arc to get through that one, especially after Skype here, such a goaded arc for me. And then we get to where I am currently up to. If I scroll down a little bit here, I'll show you guys exactly where I am up to. And hopefully I don't have too many spoils for myself. <laughs> And right here is where I'm up to. So I'm just going to cover my eyes real quick and scroll so you can see how much more I actually have left for this arc to show just, I don't know if I'm, if I've shown it enough, is that how much more is in this arc? God damn. But hopefully this arc is close to coming to an end because I, I'm assuming, yeah, cool, cool, cool. We're in but I'm assuming the next arc is going to probably tie into this one. I'm just going to have a little, yeah, it is. It's, yep, definitely, definitely going to tie into it. Okay. Because of that, I feel like I can't give this arc a fair judgment, but I did really enjoy it. And Frankie's character is pretty cool. So Water 7 for me, I'm going to say it's another good setup arc like the Jaya arc was for Skypea. So I'm going to say Water 7. Probably a, yeah, A tier. I'm gonna go A tier. And now, this is where I'm up to. This is all of the One Piece I have seen, and this is all of the One Piece I have left. I have quite a bit left. I'm not even halfway through, which is understandable. I'm only 250 episodes in. But still, I am glad I started and took on this challenge of One Piece, because, like, as much as it was scary at the start of a thousand episode anime, the more I watch it, the more I understand the, the love for One Piece and the, the idea behind it of, like, each arc is its own adventure and story and you you dive in this world with these characters and it's just so cool it's so interesting and it's it really dives deep into a lot of real world stuff a lot of things that are very serious in the real world and it tackles them in such a really nice way so honestly i know netflix is coming out with a live action later this year i'm hoping it's good because man they're probably going to cover half of these arcs within the first season oh i hope they do it justice i really hope they do it justice but anyway that's what i think let me know what you guys think in the comment section below this was such a fun little video to make if you did enjoy it then be sure to drop a like and if you want to see me rate the next 250 episodes up to episode 500 then goddamn be sure to be sure to subscribe because i'm probably just going to do it anyway <laughs> but anyway guys my name is troy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video see you guys